please give a warm welcome to Kerrigan Barnes. Every morning when I'm on my way to school, I see so many animals wandering the streets. I see tan dogs, black dogs, brown dogs, and lots of cats. And many of them are extremely thin and dirty. Did you know that the Memphis Humane Society reports that thousands of animals are unwanted and abandoned each year? According to a Fox 13 news report, the Memphis Animal Shelter is often at 150% capacity and does not have the resources to handle the amount. These animals are often injured and have even been abused. This is sad because animals are just like us in so many ways. They experience joy, fear, and sadness. Last spring, I was on my way home from my jazz and tap dance classes when my mom told me that my brother had a surprise for me. It turns out that a scared and hungry dog was hiding under one of our trees along with her eight puppies. I was worried and asked myself, how did she get there? Was she okay? Did she have a family? We took them to the vet to make sure they were healthy and ended up caring for them in our house. We named them Cookie, Brownie, Espresso, Latte, Mocha, Oreo, Cocoa, and Caramel. <laughs> Obviously, we were very hungry when we named them. <laughs> I learned that what we had done is called fostering. One of the reasons we decided to foster was because we knew they were in danger. For example, they were starting to follow their mama dog into the busy street, and they didn't have any proper food. The vet also told us that many people will train older train puppies to train older, older dogs to fight. We knew we had done the right thing. But there was only one challenge. We knew we could not keep all eight. Well, actually, my mom made it very clear we could not keep all eight. So we asked everyone we knew if they wanted a puppy. And finally, all eight of them were adopted, including the two that we kept, Cookie and Brownie. Animal abandonment is a problem that leads to overpopulation in shelters, increased stray animals on our streets, and a lot of suffering. The Memphis Animal Shelter also reports that they, help, they work to help over 9,000 animals each year. Just imagine how scared and lonely those animals must feel. One way we can help is by educating ourselves and others about responsible pet ownership. Simple things like providing them proper care, not raising the fight, and not abandoning them can make a world difference. We can also volunteer at animal shelters, foster animals in need, or organize adoption events. We can also raise awareness through social media campaigns, public events, or even school programs, just like this youth TED Talk. So here's my call to action. Join or support local animal rescue organizations, start your own initiatives, and always remember that compassion for animals not only makes our world stronger, but also makes the world a better place for all living beings. I will leave you with this quote from French poet, journalist, and novelist, Anatole France. Until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. So remember, love animals, and let's work together to make Memphis a better place for all human beings. Thank you. <laughs>